okay, so I, I should have, um, okay, these people will help me in case I have a panic attack, so. There won't be a real, a, a real 40 years d development if we don't start now to build it. It is almost impossible to talk about the future without considering what we can do today to build it. The key word of a good progress is balance. This balance contains both the words change and preservation. Everything changes. The music, our tastes, the world changes, the environment, our culture, our language. We simply can't avoid this unstoppable change. It just happens. Our main task is to make it a good change. The mental change is also something to take into consideration when we talk about the future. The technological and medical progress and improvements must be accompanied by a progress in our way of thinking and attitude. This last point is the key that really makes it happen. We live better than our ancestors, and I believe this is right, but it's our duty to make the same with who will live in our planet after we do. I would like to see a Florence, an Italy, a world where people make sacrifices to allow a good progress. Not only the big sacrifices, but especially the little ones, like avoiding to buy something, something if not really needed, or just having a shorter shower. These apparently little things are the things that will really make, make the difference. There will be a progress anyway. Will it be a good progress? It is up to us. Do you think Florence is a clean and an ecological city? Well, I don't think so. Taking care of the environment is really important to um, make our city more efficient, to have a more efficient society too. So how can we change to make our city cleaner? Well, I think we could start from education. We can see every day in the street the cigarette waste, paper, plastic bags on, in the street. And this is because people don't care. Well, I have an answer for these people. I care. I care about my city. I care about my society, our society, and their society. And mostly, I care about respect. A good way to educate people could be introducing topics about current affairs and civil education at school. Everyone has to be informed. Tourists, inhabitants, and students. I dream about a Florence less polluted. For example, psychopaths. They have to be extended. Come on, guys. Cycling when there is a sun outside is so nice. Why do we need to use cars? Encourage the spreading of bicycles. Encourage the spreading of electric cars. Air pollution is an invisible killer. It kills seven million people every year. We can't allow it. So let's kill the invisible killer. Thanks. Um, discrimination is an unfair judgment that causes distinction. It has always existed in various forms. Our world is governed by injustice and inadequate laws. And um, whenever, we see, whenever we turn around, we see uh, no respect and um, sufferance. We're always ready to judge someone else's actions and opinions with envy and superiority, and that brings people to hate each other. Um, this global phenomenon can change with uh, um, can change with the, um, the respect for diversity. Sorry. Um, nowadays, the first place where discrimination could be born is cool because here human beings have a real comparison with other people so we should dedicate more time and care to educate and sensitize our children because they are our future 
Um, there are two words that seem to have the same meaning but are totally different. Equality, that means uh, giving everyone the same rights and equity, that means um, having the access to the same opportunities. Well, we have to say, we have to reach uh, equity and we can begin by introducing new effective laws, but the most important thing is making a change in our mentality and behavior. Thanks. Every day it's quite common to notice inequality between poor and rich. I would like to imagine a world where uh, poor and rich are not so far one from the others. I dream a world without poverty and without homeless. Fortunately, Florence has not big issues in comparison to other cities, but we can always improve. We, every, every, everybody should put a brick to build the great wall of the future. That is not very solid right now. We have to, to renew the basement to increase uh, the size of this wall. So imagine, what if, um, what if uh, everybody had, um, had a, a basic income to allow them to become uh, independent economically? Everyone should have the same opportunities. Let's try everyone to enjoy the change. Let's trust this change. Thank you.